Welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Love Stinks. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, Emma thought this would be appropriate for Valentine's Day this year, so <laughs> here we are. Alright, uh, you need a C chord. First string, third fret. You need a G chord. Third, second string, uh, second fret, and second string, third fret. You need an F chord. That's the second string, first fret, and the fourth string, second fret. And then you need an A5. This one's going to be just a bit tricky. It's like an A minor. Um, you're going to play the fourth string, second fret. But this time, instead of letting that third string ring, I'm going to lean over so I get rid of it, okay? It's okay if you, if you want to play it, I guess. Um, but they're playing an A power chord, and it really works with the song. So the way to do that is to play this note, lean over so your third string gets muted, and then your one and two strings are open. Okay, and it's just the, uh, it's really not a big deal, but um, just so that we sound just like the, as much like the song as a ukulele can sound like uh, Jay Giles. Okay, uh, this also has the solo. I did the synth solo on the uke, so looking forward to that. All right, so here we go. Uh, we're going to do the intro of the song. Is a C chord, to a G, to an F. That was a G chord. Uh, so we're going to do that four times. I'm going to go on the C, I'm going to go down, down, and then on the G, up, down, and then an F chord, down, down, and then the G, I'm going to go up. So what I'm, try I'm trying to mimic that electric guitar with the chicka, chicka, the chicka, chicka, that's what he's doing. So I'm going to do the G up, I'm going to release the pressure, and get kind of a muted, and then I'm going to play it. So it's it's hard. It's uh, it's it's really the only hard part of the whole song, is uh, to get that G chord just right. Is and of course he's muting all the strings. I'm not really bothering with that open fourth string. Don't worry about it. Like that. So C. And if you can't do the muted, um, you could just go. So I'll do it that way. C. Okay, you can do it that way too. It's fine. You do that four times. That's your intro. It's also your chorus. Okay, so we don't need to bother with that later on. All right, there are some lead parts that we'll talk about later. Uh, when the verse comes in, which is the next part, you're doing, gonna, gonna, gonna do a C chord down, down. And then an F with an up down, okay? Back to the C. And that's really the verse. It does it four times in a row. Uh, so let me go over it. C is down, down. F is up, down. And then the C is down, down. Then I mute the strings. So I go chaka, down, up. And then, and then I grab the, that A5 and I go down, down, down. Like that, so it sounds like this. Mistake, sorry. C chord does it four times. So I went right in from the verse, I went right to the pre-chorus, which is um, which is a G, and I'm gonna go down up, down up, uh, yeah, down up, down, and then again, down up, down at the end of the bar, and then on B4, the next bar, down on a G, and then down on an F for four beats, and then love stinks, love stinks, and all that stuff. They go right into the chorus after that. All right, so if I went through the verse too quick, one thing you can do with the verse, if you're not really, you know, into the, all that up-down strumming thing, you could just do uh, C and then F like that. That's fine too. And then C and then all downs. You could do all downs, in other words, is my point um, with this. So, okay. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. That's basically, uh, there's only one more rhythm part that we need to learn. 
uh, and that's all the way in the outro. So let me give you the form right now. Write it down if you have to. So you got your intro, which is the... Uh, and then you got your verse, which is the... Whoops, sorry. And then you got your pre-chorus. And then your chorus comes back in, which is the intro. Okay? Then it repeats the verse, repeats the pre-chorus, repeats the chorus. Then you have a synth solo, which I'll show you in a moment, um, on the ook. But uh, if you're just backing them up, just play the verse part, the verse chords. And then after that, you go right into a pre-chorus. Then they do the chorus two times. And then they go to this like this little interlude and right into the outro. And the interlude and the outro are exactly the same, and this is what they're doing. It's a variation on the chorus or the intro, whatever you want to call it. So it's a C chord to the G, to the F, to the G, C, G, and then the F chord, you go. I'm doing the, the intro or the chorus exactly the way I did it the first time, but then the second time I change it on that F chord. I go C, C, G, G, and then F, F, and this is where it changes. I mute the strings and I go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So 16th notes, eight of them. And then right back to the beginning. And you end on a C. Okay? So those, those are all the rhythm parts you need for the uh, for Love Stinks. Now let's get to the lead parts. All right, so the lead parts, uh, you don't really have to bother with these if you don't want, but if you want to have some fun, maybe have a ukulele orchestra or something, or a duet or something, and you want to get these things in there. But uh, the organ or keyboard, whatever it is, is doing stuff like... Is, is I'm taking the second string third fret and I'm hammering to the fifth fret going right to the first string third fret then I go right back to and do it again so I do it twice basically that's it and then I wait and then I come in with and I again I hammer the second string three to five go back to the second string three third string four second string Three. So, then I go back and do that first one again. And you're going to hear that in, uh, I think, the intro. I think it happens. It happens uh, in, in many different places in the song. You'll hear the, the organ do that. Okay? So, uh, that's all there is to that. Let's see. There is uh, organ licks in the chorus. Also, that same one in the chorus. But then they change it to this. So that last little bit, um, he does this later on in the song. Um, and you'll just have to search for these. I didn't, you know, I think it's in the, uh, the chorus, like I said. So the last little lick is the uh, second string, third fret. You again, you hammer to the five, and then go back to the, the, third, the second string, three. Third string, four, open third string. So. Okay, so that's another lick that's in there. That comes back in the outro. They do that a lot. Uh, they'll do this a lot. They just keep doing that. Um, so those are all those little organ licks that you'll hear. Uh, let's try the synth solo. Um, it's not that hard, believe it or not. Uh, the synth solo, you're going to start at the, uh, the chords behind it are the verse chords, by the way, that we went over. Uh, but if you want to play the synth solo, it's first string five, you slide to seven, add ten, and then, uh, so that's the first lick. Then now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the second string five, and then, 
that's my lick right there. Notice I'm using my third finger for that second string five. That allows me to be put in position to play the first string three twice, back to the second string five. Okay, so just like that. Then I go to the first string five and I bend it and bring it right back down and then right to the uh, first string three. I don't release the pressure at all on that bend. I bend it up, bring it back down. And then I play the second string five to the second string three. So it sounds like this. Okay, and you basically do that twice. So the second time, Then he plays that second string three, and he slides up to the 15th fret on that second string, like that. And then they use a whammy bar, or there's a keyboard instrument, they used to have these whammy bars on the keyboard instruments for a while there, I, don't, I haven't seen them in a while, but uh, that's probably what he's doing. So, that's the solo, uh, It's uh, I'll play the whole solo now. Love Stinks for the Ook. Uh, happy Valentine's Day and um, please subscribe. Play more Ook. <laughs>